they say. An apple a day keeps the vet away. Morning, folks. Our agronomist just pulled up. We're going to talk about some soil tests that we did. We tested half our acres. And then I believe a truck with fertilizer is coming and we're going to start spreading. We got to hook up and unhook some equipment today, get spreading some fertilizer, and get all that done. We gotta get a globe on this tractor so we can use auto steer and get a clevis back there so we can hook on to the fertilizer spreader and then we should be pretty much ready to go looks like a dog chewed on that once again you'd think for how many times i gotta take off and put these on i would remember what size we would need and it's the biggest one we got that's easy to remember There's a forklift in my way. We got this fancy little computer sticky thing as they call it and you shove it in there and load all your maps and I think we're ready to go now. I'm just waiting on fertilizer. I want to double check, make sure the tires are pumped and uh, I think we're ready to do this thing. Yep. We need a new filter. We need a new filter. No moisture. While we're waiting for that truck. We got one bull with a swollen tool, one of our own herd sires. We're gonna have to get him up and put him in with a group of cows that we're getting rid of. We also have a bred heifer that looks like she slipped her calf, doesn't have a calf in her anymore, so we're gonna get her up as well. Just got this over the weekend, I think. So we don't back into stuff. Mount it up real quick. Hopefully that truck comes soon. It's gonna be a long day if we don't get started here pretty quick. Looks like that should have been on there earlier. 
So this is something cool I got in just last week. Haven't had time to use it yet. Able to stick weld. Of course, wire feed with it, but it's even able to do aluminum, which I've never had a welder that could do aluminum before. Always wanted to learn, so sometimes things need uh, repaired. Like on our livestock trailer, a little latch broke off, and then it took us two years to find time to get it to a welder in town. It's a, it was a really quick fix, but we didn't have the ability to do it. Well, now we do. This company, Yes Welder, they send you out all the leads, and then this is actually another liner for, for the consumables if you're doing aluminum. So you just pull that out of here. So I hope to try that out on some aluminum. It'd be another skill, good skill to have here on the farm. Jane from Jefferson Starship is the song of the day. The reason these calves are getting, we're having issues yet is the temperature change. Take a sharp, there we go. Now watch this drive. Right there is where I want to hit it. Right in the, right in the good spot. Yep. But, uh, we're 55 during the day and we're getting down to about 10 at night and it's just too much. When it gets cold and stays cold, we're going to have a lot less trouble with the cows. We kind of got them, I feel like, on the run, but I was talking to a friend the other day and he's having to trade several, so um, you just never know. It's a little after 11 o'clock and apparently that truck isn't going to be here till after 12, so we're going to get some lunch and just waste a little time before we get some fertilizer in. I took advantage of the Black Friday, <clears throat> the Black Friday deals. Yeah. And I got these here lights, I've always wanted to try them. I did read online, apparently they don't last very long. But, what are they? Watch this, you see how it's dark in here? And then I flip the light on. No, I and, can't see. Yeah, and then all you can see is the light from the light, but it doesn't illuminate everything else. We're gonna see if we can Light from the light. Yeah, we'll s maybe we can make an adjustment here. Yeah, that helps. You want me to shut the lights on? Nah, yeah, probably, because it's gonna be very bright. Give her a try. Is it amazing or what? I can't tell, it's right in my eye. Okay. Well. It's better, I guess. Don't give me light. Yeah. Try it. It seems like the answer is keep the doors open and only come in here during the day and you have plenty of light. They're only $11. Which is kind of an expensive light bulb. Yeah. They don't last long, huh? That's what the internet said. Is it not like cold weather or what? Probably not. All right. Keep. That's some premium content right there. Okay. What'd you watch on YouTube? Oh, some not heads. We're changing light bulb. But it only took one of us to change, because I just watched. How many knot heads does it take to change the light bulb? Haven't done field work in a long time. So they got a 50,000 pound load right there. They put about 15,000 in the back of our spreader and they're gonna dump the rest in that semi. You can see we're in black, 
so that area needed nothing we're variable rate spreading now we're getting into some colored stuff and that apron yep it's going now we're spitting some out and then we got our camera looking at the back I can see the spinners are spinning switch the page just see a bunch of fertilizer in there our goal now is to do this field 160 acres and then the one across the road which is 80 acres we had to change our goal a little bit this morning it was empty that semi we're not gonna have enough time for that today So looking at this sheet, which has some information about our soil test, right here it says zone three, which is 41 acres, needs zero fertilizer. And it also says zone eight, which is 25 acres, needs zero fertilizer. Add those two numbers together. That's 66 acres that would have been fertilized if we did the entire field the same rate. But now instead of doing that, we're saving money on those acres and then putting more fertilizer on places that need it. And there's one way Sunny Frames is being sustainable, using less inputs and growing more bushels. And last year when we had the field right there, right next to home, soil sampled, which we did a good job spreading manure across there, that entire field didn't need a lick of fertilizer. So that's fun. Now, now you're saving time and money Whereas on this field, it's a you know it's kind of a spot here and a spot there that doesn't need fertilizer, so you pretty much need to go every pass. Versus that entire field, we didn't even have to pull into it. It was just it was done. Had enough. Everything it needed. Looks like a dinosaur took a poop right there. Look at that. Woo. Bin is starting to get a little low. We'll make a few more rounds and probably be empty. Head back and start filling up. And I don't know if Dad's itching to run this machine, so we might switch off. Not sure. A little bit of a badger hole there. One thing that's funny that I noticed on this sheet, where it says grower, it says brain sunny. A little bit of a typo there, but brain. So you see all this black here. We're in a low spot. Now this year it yielded very well relative to everything else because we we're in a drought. But a lot of times our low spots don't need much fertilizer because they often drowned out and then when those plants get killed off they're not pulling nutrients out of the ground so it's kind of interesting you think spots that have low fertility are your poor producing areas but, but most often they have lower fertility because the plants have been pulling so many nutrients out it's been doing good in that area and so you need to replenish that stuff back I don't know this farming thing sometimes it's a little backwards thinking you know things end up being the exact opposite of what you assumed. Just got two little humps of fertilizer left. Oh, that's a big rock. Oh, oh man. This is why farmers make good shot put throwers in track and field. Get a little chilly out there.
Wanna go fertilize? This next field is half the size, so it should take third half maybe less time. So Farmer Brain is taking the last load of water to those cows and then he's going to switch off with me. It's getting, starting to get dark. Well, I guess I get the graveyard shift. It's been a frustrating day. We're going to get our soil test back. They were done on Wednesday. Thanksgiving was Thursday. I wanted to start on Friday because the weather was so nice. but. The plant was closed and, you know, people were taking Friday off and all that. So, I had a plan to get them this morning. So we got them, but then we had to wait another six hours to get our fertilizer delivered. We realized that one field hadn't been soil tested yet. Anyway, late start, snow's coming tonight. Really wanted to get all the acres spread while the weather was nice, but of course, we get a half a day before dark of good going and then it's supposed to snow and really blow tomorrow so oh but the highlight of the day neighbor gal asked me if I would stop and pick her kids up off the bus at four o'clock because her work schedule got screwed up and she couldn't do it so picked them up kind of cheered me up a little bit so if you're watching this, and I know you are, don't think that me having to pick up your girls made my day worse. It was actually the highlight. So thank you for that. P.S. I don't want to do it every day though. Kind of dark out. Finished that field that Cole started by the cemetery. Refilled the spreader. I'm headed for the field we call Kenny's, three miles east of me. Spend a couple hours out there. Get that done just in case we get some rain and snow on top of it that'd probably be good and plus I want to get something done Cole's coming over to help me with this prescription for the field because apparently I don't know how to do it so I'll probably hand off the camera so this is me signing off for the day sorry I was crabby have a good one okay learn me Cole okay so you go to document okay this one prescription, prescription. and then you go to shapefile shapefire shapefile and then you click the correct field. We graze cows out here, so if dad gets hungry, there's plenty of chips. <laughs> chips and pie, gotta love it. Are you ready to see your Christmas present? I'm ecstatic. Okay, so stand here. Okay, close your eyes. All right. Oh, wrong one. All right, open them. No way! It's a burn barrel. Not the kitties? <laughs> Whose cats are these? <laughs>